Hi, thanks for joining us here at Bally News Live. We're taking a look at downtown Fargo, where again, those skies are starting to clear and there's a bit of a breeze out there as well. Here, though, the temperature is 59 degrees and across the river in Moorhead, it is 57 there. And like I said, that breeze is hanging around at about 14 miles per hour from the east. Temperatures right now across the region are in the 50s and the 60s. Grand Forks is at 60 even, whereas Oaks is at 55, and Halak, Roseau, and Baudet all at 57 degrees. And we're watching the rest, the last of those uh, showers move out of our area as we speak right now. And this line was a bit stronger earlier, but it wasn't doing anything other than dropping a moderate amount of rain. We only got rain values of about a half of an inch there, whereas the rest of us got just about a tenth of an inch, maybe a little more here and there. As we look through the evening and into tomorrow, we'll see those sto showers continue to hang on, but again, they'll be a bit more scattered as we move through the overnight hours. and. By morning, we could see just a bit of a remnant here or there, particularly for our northeastern counties, but there is another rainmaker on its way in the southwest, and that will move to the north and east, and by about noontime, it will be along uh, a line from the Devil's Lake Basin just to about Fargo, just maybe a little bit to the west, uh, 10, 15 miles there. As we move on through the evening, we'll see those showers move farther to the east and be in Lakes Country at that hour. And there is a bit more organized system just to our south. And so that could be a bit m farther north and just skirt the edge of our neck of the woods. And as we move through the evening hours and into the nighttime hours, that line will move from uh, roughly Lakes Country into uh, northern Minnesota into Lake of the Woods, Roseau, and Beltrami counties by that hour. And as you're getting ready for bed, a lot of those showers will start to dissipate. Now, tomorrow afternoon, we'll see places north of Fargo see temperatures in the 60s, while Fargo and south will see temperatures in the 70s, Sisseton, Aberdeen at 78. So around there, we could see some 80s even for early October. That's not too bad. Here in Fargo, we'll see those clouds continue through most of the day. They could be partly cloudy at times, so we could see some blue sky here or there and reach temperatures of just over 70 degrees and take a look at this lovely reflection from Nancy there. Thank you for your photo. As we look through the next couple of days, we'll see those 70s hanging on as long as they can. And even an upper 60, that's not too bad either. But those scattered showers will stick around until Wednesday when a change comes. Windy on Thursday with a high of, or sorry, a low of 26 on Friday and highs in the 40s. So definitely a big chill coming. Yeah, absolutely. I guess everybody's going to have to get in all the fun over these next two days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and maybe break out a sweater. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much.